Hello, this tutorial is to explain about Tikinder check button by jet with an example. Check button. Check button by jet is used to display number of options to the user as toggle buttons. User can select multiple options by clicking the button corresponding to each option. It is having two states, checked or on and unchecked or off state. Check button can display both text and images. Various different important options of check button widget. The first one is the text. It specifies the information to be displayed on the check button. Use new lines to display multiple lines of text. Second one, image. It is used to display a graphic image on the check button. The third one, variable. It associates a control variable to track the current state of the check button. Normally, it can be an int or variable that stores 0 for off and 1 for on. The next, the fourth one, which is named as off value and on value. Check button's associated control variable will be set to 0 when it is off and set to 1 when it is on. An alternate value for the off and on state can be done by assigning the required value to the off value and on value attributes. The fifth option, command. It is used to associate a method to be called when the user changes the state of the check button. So there are five important options of check button widget. Text, image, variable, off value and on value and command. The important methods of check button widget. The three important methods deselect, select and toggle. Deselect turns off the check button and select will turn on the check button. By calling the method toggle, it performs the off and on in toggle manner. The off check button if it is on and vice versa. Let us see an example of Tikinder GUI with check buttons. We have to create number of check buttons to take the attendance report. So if we select the check button and submit, it will be shown as present. If the check button is unchecked, it will show the respective roll number as absent. On click of the submit button, display the status of the student's attendance by retrieving the state of the check button. For this program, first we are importing the package tkinder module. Then we are creating a window by calling the tk constructor. The window name is w1. We are changing the title of the, our application as my app. After that, we are creating number of check button. So before we are creating the check button, we create a dictionary for storing the various state of a different check buttons which are present in our screen GUI. So the roll number is stored inside a dictionary which is named as roll number. Now for each check button we are creating we require different int word. That is the reason why we are creating a dictionary for storing all our int words. So we have to create a number of check button that depends upon the values which are present in the roll number so we are using a for loop for that purpose for creating the check button so by taking each value from the roll number first we create an int var variable which is used to store the status of the respective check button so war of i i will be 101 so war of 101 is to store the state of the first check button and similarly for the second will be war of 102 
etc so a check button has been created the name of the check button is chk it is created for the window and the text is associated with a value from i so i will be taking from roll number so it will be 101 102 103 respectively at the first time it will be 101 so 101 will be displayed for the check button and a variable has been associated to the check button as war of i that is war of 101 for the first check button and the width is given the value as 20 once the check button has been created we will select the check button so the check button status will be on initially and the pack method will make the check button to be placed on the GUI. So the number of check button has been created depending upon the value which are present in the roll number. So since we have three roll number which is present in the dictionary roll number three check button will be created and each check button has been associated with a access variable which is named as war which is a dictionary so we have war of i so that will store the status of the check button whether it is selected or not after that a button has been created button object name is b1 and the button has been associated to a function which is named as b1 function the button is placed on the screen and the main loop method has been called for event handling and the button function has to be defined for our program which is named as b1 function now in the v1 function we have to take the status of each check button whether it is checked or not so for that we are using a loop So in the loop, we are writing for i in roll number. So I will take individual value from the roll number. So 101, 102, 103, etc. Different access variable which we are used for our check button is named as war with the index, which is a dictionary element. So war with the index, the index will be the element from the roll number. So we are checking first war of 101 dot get method will return the status whether it is 1 or not. If it is 1 we will say that it is present that particular rule number i is present else if the status is 0 then we will say that that particular rule number is absent. Again the loop will repeat I will take the second rule number and check the status by using the war variable. Here war variable is a variable which has been associated to the check button with the respective index which is a roll number and get the status if it is 1 we will say that it is present otherwise we will say that that particular student is absent. Thank you for watching this video.